Well, uh, good afternoon, St. Louis. Um, this is uh, not an easy one. Um, I don't even exactly know what uh, to say here, but we've got Riz, King Scott, Moon, and Tony Patrico uh, joining me in the Point studio. And uh, Point listeners, there's some, uh, there's some news that you need to know. Riz? And probably the, uh, the toughest thing I've ever had to ever say on the radio, but our coworker, our... Uh, our friend, our brother Jeff Burton, passed away this morning at, um, at 926. And, uh, man, he fought. Jeff Burton fought for a long time. And now we could say that Jeff Burton is, is not in pain anymore. Mm-hmm. Again, the toughest thing that I think we've ever had to, had to say on the radio was Jeff Burton has passed away. Um, God, did he fight. Jeff fought for a long time, and I tell you what, uh, the, the outpouring from, from Point listeners, from Team Riz members, Jeff read all your messages. He saw everything that you posted online. Mm-hmm. Uh, last week, I I'd, I'd talked to him and, and Julia's wife, uh, and, and Jeff spent two hours opening up your letters and reading every single one of them, and Jeff wants to thank every... And the family wants to thank every single one of you for your your thoughts, your prayers. And he got all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Jeff got all that stuff. And just, you know, Jeff passed away this morning with his, his family by his side. And <sighs> St. Louis Radio is not going to be the same. A, a, an institution, Jeff Burton was on these radio waves for 30 years. I think 30 years making it, making people laugh and brightening pe- people's day. And uh, Jeff was a part of people's lives. And I said to Jeff, I said, you know what? Rest easy knowing that you made an impact on everybody's lives. You made everybody's lives better. You brought a lot of joy to a lot of people for a long ass time. And I thank... I, and I, I could speak for the for all of us. Uh, every moment we had with him, whether it be on the air, or off the air, was amazing. Jeff would make us laugh just <clears throat> the most mundane, non-stop, like, non-stop, dude. And just like some of the dumbest stuff, just yeah. the dumbest yeah. stuff, yeah. Like, without question. And and one thing that I know, Jeff, you know, one of my last visits with Jeff, he appreciated. And he already knew this, and we already knew this, how loved that man was in the St. Louis area. And uh, like you said, Riz, every single letter that he received, every single funny note that he got, he read every single one of them and smiled bigger than, than you can ever imagine. I want to I want to throw this one in here uh, real quick, and I think you guys know what had happened. But the first time that Jeff, Jamie, and Anthony Stalter and I went to go visit him in hospice, you have to have like a like a like a keyword to get in mm-hmm. to see him, and I did not know. I, I thought that I had known what that word was, uh, but I was incorrect. Jeff had told me that the word was McGuffey's. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> the word was not McGuffey's. So it's me to the nurse at the at the hospice place, and then I had to call you, Riz, yeah. To, yeah. To, to find out. But when we told Jeff that that had happened. Oh my God! He w- was so thrilled that he was able to to do that mm-hmm. sort of thing. But that's just that guy, man. That's, that's just the that way. Guy. That's the way Jack was. Yeah. It, it could be. It's <laughs> God, Moon. I, was, I just like to reiterate what Tony was saying. Like the love that this community showed him in these last couple months, like gave him strength to do things that he shouldn't have been able to do. Yeah. And I think everybody should know that. Yeah. You know, like like him being on air with us over the last couple weeks. He shouldn't have been able to do that. He shouldn't have had the strength to do that. Even like yeah. people around him, professionals are saying, "How is he doing these this?" This man defied every odd. Yeah, man. And he every was, odd. He was doing it because of the love that this whole community pushed behind him. So. I wrote. I, I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, we, we every December we all exchange gifts for for Christmas. I wrote Jeff a letter, and and I, I wrote to Jeff. I said, "You know what? What you've been going through, you are the biggest inspiration to me." because of what you're going through and still to come in every day with a smile and be funny mm-hmm. yeah yeah is a real inspiration to anybody 
And I know he was in, you know, he, he was suffering. And he, man, he fought valiantly. Boy, did he, he put on a brave face, man. Valiantly. And he did everything he could to come in every day because he knew he had a job. His job was to come in every day and brighten other people's day, no matter what he was going through. And Jeff said to me, he said, I just don't want to be forgotten. And nobody will ever forget Jeff Burton. Ever. No. No. Never. No. Nobody will ever forget Jeff Burton. Dude, he was working so hard to just try to come in and to do your show and then to do the podcast or, you know, whatever. Like, he wanted more than anything else to just... You know, like this work coming in and hanging with us and doing the show and doing whatever. Like, that was just good therapy for him as with everything that he had going on. And I think one of the things that I really didn't know or appreciate at that time is that he was probably in more pain than any of us could even possibly yeah. imagine. Yeah. And he was pushing and pushing and right. pushing. You're right. Jeff, Jeff loved his family, uh, loved his dogs, loved his friends, but damn it, he loved being on the radio and he loved this radio station and he loved every single listener yeah. and he was the guy when you saw him out and about he was so approachable all the time never put on one of those don't come talk to me faces never ever. man never. never have you ever heard a story of somebody saying oh man i tried to approach jeff burton and i just couldn't do it and he was very unfriendly <laughs> yeah but, but it was only your story never. Never. Stop that. jeff burton <laughs> was the guy that said i want to take a picture with you yeah yeah, yeah let's yeah. take a picture i can't tell you how many times i heard jeff say let's take a picture yeah. And I mean, hey, in all reality, you may be sitting there right now. What can I do? What What do I do? If you want to honor Jeff Burton today, you live by something that this man consistently told us day after day after day. And that's today. Be kind. Yeah. Choose kindness. Be positive. You know, live the way that Jeff Burton would want you to live your life. And that's being kind and being positive. Yeah. He told me uh, the last time I got to talk with him is that he's like, hey, I need you to do me a favor and go out. When you're out hiking, all that stuff, touch as many trees as you can. And just remember the way the bark and everything feels. And uh, just get out there and, and enjoy this life. You know? Everybody's got a Jeff Burton story. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I, re I remember uh, I auditioned for the morning show when it was Jeff and Tom, or Jeff and Trish. And it was a, the, the spot that Tom eventually ended up getting. And, um, you know, I'm really nervous about the whole thing. And one morning we get Jeff Corton off in the blues on the phone with us. And I've got my opportunity to ask Jeff Cortnall a question. And it might have been the longest question in the history of mankind. And seeing Jeff, like, on the, on the other side of the board going, oh, my Lord, son, wrap this thing <laughs> up, man. Like, but, I mean, he, like, but, you know, the, the thing about Jeff, one of the reasons that we got along so well, man, is, like, dude, that dude's, like, work ethic to give this place everything that he had. I mean, that's just what he did. Mm -hmm. Like, he, I mean... He loved this place, like loved it, loved it, yeah. loved it. Yeah. And being on the air was his favorite thing. Yeah, yep. and this this show, this whole group, this station is 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 a true family, and our whole listening family has made it clear that the Burton family has a huge support group and a and a huge family. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like girls, you know the women in his life, like we're your family, man. We're here for you, and all the listeners are too, and they know that now. You know. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff was one of the kindest people um, that, I, that I've ever met. And uh, enough where I had to tell this man not too long ago to stop picking up hitchhikers. <laughs> yes. And that's not a joke. Like, for real. But he needed a ride. I know. <laughs> he could but, have a, but he could kill you, Jeff. He could, this person could have a, 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 an axe in one hand. And wearing a Jason mask. <laughs> and Jeff would pull over and say, where are you going? Come on in. And he, Jeff could I be going from Eureka to downtown, and this guy could be going to Godfrey, Illinois, and he'd go, I'll get you close. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jeff. It didn't matter. I mean, you talk about, like, a one-of-a-kind person. And also, too, I do not, I firmly believe I will never, ever meet someone that is as funny as he is and also quick-witted. Uh, I have never really known better. anyone else in my life that is that can turn a joke that fast as that man could, man. It was yeah. just something Jeff else. could give you a line and just put you on the floor. 100%. Yeah. And the, the most <laughs> quick-witted person that I've ever met. Ever. And will ever work with. And... For eight years on, on The Riz Show, I've had the pleasure of working with Jeff. 
Uh, I've known Jeff for 20 years, uh, working with him very closely for eight years, and there will be nobody, nobody like Jeff. Nobody is quick-witted, nobody is kind. This man would stop traffic on 270 at rush hour because a turtle needed to cross the road. <laughs> yeah. And that is not a joke. Yeah. This is going to inevitably be one of those times, though, man, where, like, I, I, I am going to feel like I wish I would have said something more. So, it just, It just doesn't feel like there are enough words and, and accolades for for the guy. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I mean, especially right now. But We, we just, could sit here for hours upon hours upon hours and talk about the positive impact that Jeff Burton has had on the radio in St. Louis or in St. Louis in general. And it still would not do justice as to how this man lived his life while he was here with us. And I know that... Your it, sadness is going to come, grief is going to come, but celebrate that we got to spend this time with Jeff Burton, and you guys got to know and and love this man as much as we did. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff impacted a lot of people, as I said before, and brightened uh, everybody's day uh, for for a long, long time. And Jeff Burton will be missed, and I will never work with anybody like Jeff. And I'm sure everybody will say the, the same thing. Um, a one of a kind person, and we take solace that uh, he, his family was with him when he passed away, and he's not in pain anymore. And he, this man fought his ass off, and what would have put a lot of people down, and what would have put a lot of people at home, and just just giving up. Jeff fought on valiantly and bravely, and his legacy will will go on forever, and he will never be forgotten. Again, Jeff loved his family, loved his dogs, loved this radio station, loved the listeners, and loved music. Loved music. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when he got into something, he got into something. Yeah, so, and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Jeff had an affinity for the band Blue October. Just a, Did you guys know that? Just a couple, no. two, three <laughs> likes for that. No, and, and privately, we got all a picture a couple weeks ago, Justin from Blue October, um, flew from Texas to see Jeff in hospice. Uh, and Justin Leitzinger blog October went and visited him, and, and Jeff sat up, and, and I saw a smile on his face that I had not seen in a long time. I thought the same thing, man. When I saw that picture, I went, this man, that's the smile that I'm so used to seeing. And we hadn't seen it in a minute. And that moment brought that smile back. And just for that moment, I looked at that picture, and I went, there's one of my best friends. There he is. He's, you know, he's there. He's there. And, and music was his escape. Music was what brought that joy out of Jeff. He'd walk in the woods with his headphones on and uh, with his dog by his side and listening to, to Blogtober, the band live, or, you know, was a huge supporter of local music. Amen. Yeah, Absolutely. And I, I, when we, we have these little things that come out of commercial breaks, you know, it's, hey, this is, you know, Gilbert Godfrey and you listen to the race show, or hey, this is, you know, whoever. Whenever the, hey, this is Justin Blue October, he would go, yes. Yep. <laughs> he would. He would. Every time. I know we'll, 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 we'll be on the air tomorrow morning, and we'll, we'll share some of our Jeff memories, and we'll play some of our favorite Jeff bits and play some of our, uh, our, our so songs that we knew Jeff loved. Um, but again, thank you for, for your letters and your... All messages and, and your love and, and all of it. The Burton family felt it all. And Jeff for sure did. And Jeff yeah, felt absolutely. it all. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. And I will forever miss my friend Jeff. Yep. And uh, we'll play something from Blocktober. This is when Justin was here uh, two years ago. Yeah, about yeah, sitting, yeah. sitting right next to Jeff. Sitting right away. next to Jeff and Jeff watched him like like a little like a like a puppy. Yeah. yeah, he sat there the whole time with a giant smile on his face. It didn't matter if Justin was singing about a pile of dirt. Yeah, yeah. Jeff would have smiled from they do have a song. Here. I know that. they do. Oh, okay. Yeah, they Sorry. do. That's yeah. Oh. I've been bad with jokes. It's all right. Yeah, it's Sorry, all right. but no, Je Jeff. Jeff truly enjoyed that moment, and I believe that that's one of the things that really, truly, you know, perked him up. Yeah. So we love you, Jeff. We love you, Julie and Abby and Casey. And we're we're thinking about you, and we're sending you everything we could, all the good energy, and. Uh, We'll be on tomorrow morning, and we'll, we'll talk more about this. All right, thank you, Donnie. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.